this. Okay, so now I am here and we are going to get started everybody. I'm going to be working with this very powerful celestite. You know, the this is uh, very much brings in that angelic uh, energy. And also I'm going to be working with this rose quartz because the higher heart of compassion, you know, an unconditional love is the way back home. <laughs> it is the higher heart of compassion, unconditional love, service to others, the way back home. And we're all going to read the Anchoring Life Prayers together, which I will have that share screen in just a moment. But I want to uh, just share with everybody, you know, this very powerful sacred geometry. This is known as the um, shield of David or the shield of Michael. Okay. And uh, Hebrew, as well as um, four other languages on our planet, are what are known as light languages. So you have uh, Tibetan and you have Sanskrit, you have Egyptian and Chinese uh, and Hebrew. So for the Western uh, you know, cultures or traditions, Hebrew is just sort of like an easier default for us. But these, this is a very, very powerful uh, energetic and I'm starting off with the anchoring light okay, with this powerful, powerful shield. Then what we're going to do is I will then uh, play this citrine bowl, very high frequency, and that will clear and set the sacred space. And I'm going to start with the prayers to the archangels. And then everybody after that, let me do share screen, uh, share. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to do is we're going to do the, um, after I do the, the prayers to the seven archangels, then we will say the pillar of light protection. I will then use the citrine bowl, and then we will start our meditation. So let's all say i will say everybody take a deep breath in michael 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 may the guardian angels from the heavenly legion stand forth for all to see purify illumine manifest the glory of light's perfection that each one may be Jophiel and Camuel, Gabriel and Raphael, Uriel and Zekiel, a mighty host of light, cherubim and seraphim from the realms of glory, rend now the veil that dims our human sight. Blessed archangels for illumination, we invoke thy presence. In hymns of praise to thee, we keep us consecrated to God's plan fulfilling in purity, thy ministers be. And now, let us all say together the pillar of light protection and all of the prayers. I call on the I am presence of God to surround me with a tube of dazzling white like substance, like sun glistening snow pouring down around me as a circular wall of light. This light essence is constantly pouring like Niagara Falls. I also call on beloved Lord Gautama to surround my protective pillar of light with your circle of blue flame for any added protection which may be required. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Invoking the law of forgiveness. Beloved presence of God, I am in me. I am the ascended master's law of forgiveness and transmuting flame of all the mistakes I have ever made and those of all mankind as well as those of the elemental kingdom. Transmute this misqualified energy into the light of God that never fails. Illumine our minds and feelings and see that neither I nor any of the rest of life ever make the same mistakes again. Transmuting violet flame invocation. Magic I am presence. 
blaze through and around me the transmuting violet flame, thy sacred fire. Purify and transmute now all impure desires, hard feelings, wrong concepts, imperfect etheric records, causes, cores, effects, and memories known or hidden. Keep this flame sustained and all powerfully active. Replace all by pure substance, power of accomplishment, and the divine plan fulfilled. After violet flame invocation, Archangel Michael and Ascended Master Jesus, charge into this violet flame your purifying, dissolving power of divine love in its most powerful dynamic activity. Let the powers of light descend into earth and take full command. In the name of the cosmic I am presence, to all that is not of the light we say, you have no power, your end has come. In the name of the cosmic I am presence, for all humanity, we now consciously give the authority for the earth to the ascended masters and cosmic beings to bring into manifestation the divine plan fulfilled. Ascension Decree. My magic I am presence, you direct my activity, world and affairs, and take full command of me. Guide, protect, and illumine me every step of the way, and see that I render the greatest service possible. See in your wisdom that I make the ascension and the close at the close of this embodiment. I am the ascension manifesting. I thank you, beloved I am. We remember. We remember we are spiritual beings of light, one with the source of all creation. We remember all is one. We remember we are creators and part of a divine creative plan. We remember we are here in physical expression as guardians and stewards to the earth, and we work in collaboration with other spiritual beings of light from various streams of consciousness. We work together bounded by love, to liberate Earth Mother, to take her place as a world of peace. We walk the path of love and light. Luminous ones of the seven seas, we call you now, we call you now to heal the waters of terror. Luminous ones of the seven seas, we call you now, we call you now to heal the waters of terror. Luminous ones of the seven seas, we call you now, we call you now to heal the waters of terror. I send the energy of love and gratitude to the water and all the living creatures in the Gulf of Mexico and its surroundings, to the whales, dolphins, pelicans, shellfish, plankton, coral, algae, and all living creatures. I am sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. Prayer of the Seven Galactic Directions. From the East House of Light, may wisdom dawn in us so we may see all things in clarity. From the North House of Night, may wisdom ripen in us so we may know all from within. From the West House of Transformation, may wisdom be transformed into right action so we may do what must be done. From the south house of the eternal sun, may right action reap the harvest, so we may enjoy the fruits of planetary being. From above house of heaven, where star people and ancestors gather, may their blessings come to us now. From below house of earth, may the heartbeat of her crystal core bless us with harmonies to end all war. From the center galactic source, which is everywhere at once, may everything be known as the light of mutual love. Ho yam, hum nam ku, eva maya, e maho which is Mayan for our galactic mother. Okay. All righty. What we will do now Does everybody start to breathe with intention? Oh, 
Okay. Knowing that each and every holy in breath and out breath connects us consciously with the divine. I'm now going to do the citrine bowl. And the very intention of you being and participating in this to serve as a vehicle of light for God's divine, sacred, holy plan has already aligned you with the intention and the alignment of this. With each and every single sacred in breath and out breath, it brings forth a re remembering that we breathe the breath of Brahma, that it is the divine that breathes in and through us, it is the sacred breath that animates us. And it is intrinsic in all creations. For this sacred holy breath comes from the source of the Supreme Creator, Eternal Father, Eternal Mother, And with each and every holy, sacred in-breath and out-breath already comes an alignment that brings us steadily and purposefully into higher radiation, higher illumination, higher light as we begin to move up our chakra system from the visible into the invisible. And as we simply allow the very consciousness of our own physical, mental and emotional bodies move into an organic attunement and alignment with the higher frequencies of light that come into this sacred space where we find ourselves upon this holy ground where we find ourselves in this connection of hearts and minds in service to the divine, in service to God. And in this sacred alignment, as each breath brings forth the higher step, 
the Haida radiation illumination the acceleration of our own electron spin moving into the atomic and subatomic levels moving into all of the subtle bodies now bringing forth the interweaving and interconnection of the higher expressions of our own individual and collective selves. Coming into a state of perfect balance and unshakable peace. And for just these few moments here now, as this wave of love moves in, unstoppable as a tide that washes over us this crystalline light, moving in on the undulating waveforms of unconditional love, embracing us in a communion of unfathomable love in the depths of wholeness. And we simply breathe the sacred in breath and out breath as we are now as great transducers of energy that sends out and receives from the higher light spectrums from the higher celestial worlds of light, from the most radiant ones of all the expressions of divine that has made note and recognizes this ever expanding singularity of service to this world, service to the realms of light, service to the Christ Consciousness Divine Maitreya, service to the Eternal Father, Eternal Mother, Eternal Creator. And so we simply breathe and allow this sacred energy that continues to illumine and radiate and bring in the higher celestial light of our own higher selves and all that we are connected to in the magnificence and brilliance of our true identity. And with each and every holy, sacred in-breath and out-breath, we become acutely aware of this sacred grace that flows in and through us. We bring forth the intention to recognize it when it becomes present. For this energy of love will come in other times. And so the divine guidance here is to become very aware of the shifting energies, how that feels like or sense that in your prevailing knowingness to tap into those higher parts that become aware and alerted to shifting energies that guide you in your sacred intuitiveness. And if it comes as even a sensation in your physical body, a shifting in your brave wavelength, as some are able to be able to discern or even if it comes in ways unique to you. The key here is that 
you can recognize it when it happens. And be aware here now that most radiant beings of light are present and they stand and embrace you. They hold this sacred platform, this divine singularity that brings together all the souls of light here in higher service to bring forth this illumination of divine and sacred peace, of divine and sacred balance into ourselves individually and into our collective. We start with ourselves and as we embrace this sacred grace that flows in held by those who love us and support us unconditionally in higher service from the many streams and the myriad of diversities, planes and realms and dimensions of the source of one. Eternal Father, Eternal Mother, unconditional love, the limitless light. And we simply breathe as this sacred energy continues to flow and expand as it anchors more deeply within the very consciousness of every cell, of every atom, as it moves and anchors and balances, cleans and clears and purifies the physical body, the emotional body, and the mental body. And we open up and can feel the stirring as we align ourselves with our family of light, the Amin Shaddai, in the re-remembering of who we are, why we are here, our mission and our purpose. See clearly here now a multifaceted diamond of rainbow light. This diamond is not any earthly diamond. This magnificent diamond with the myriad of facets that holds every color in the cosmos beyond the light spectrum of a material earth. This diamond light in the symbol of a multifaceted diamond of multitude colors comes now in the middle of our consciousness as we experience this spiritual platform of service together. And this symbol grows until we can no longer see the individual diamond, but only a facet of this diamond that is unique to us 
And so we see in front of us the enormity that is beyond our perception to see totally this diamond now so large, so big, so gargantuan, that we can only see a facet of it. But this facet and the color that comes to you is specific to you. And so as you are drawn into it, you walk and you become aware that your own energetic expression has elevated and you are now energetically ready to walk through this diamond light portal unique to you and as you do you know that there are others that do the same and to meet in its interior As you walk in, you are amazed at this crystalline matrix of color that forms undescribable in its purity and its illumination and the myriad of colors within it. And so you take your position for there is an inner knowing and a familiarity of this. And around this crystalline portal of light that holds the myriad of angles and colors, something which is a part of it that is so much grander that we are not able yet to perceive. But we are here in our perfect location in this portal of light. And as we hold our positions, we become acutely aware of so many others that are within this sphere of this portal of light that take their positions as well. A convergence of all those in higher service and in love for the Eternal Father, Eternal Mother, part of a sacred divine plan in alignment with the divine cosmic Christ and cosmic Maitreya. And so with this, there is a unity and a bond that is unshakable between all streams of consciousness in this path of life coming from the higher heart of compassion and higher service. And we simply breathe, assimilate and acclimate as the frequencies of light, the myriad of the expressions of the multitude of colors in diffiting of harmonics, and sacred geometries. We hold our positions. And as we are now anchored in our positions in the higher light realms of ourselves, as we are part of a divine and sacred collective of a sacred agreement and a partnership, in the re-remembering of who we are, why we are upon the earth, our mission and our purpose. 
and with this sense of unshakable peace and perfect balance this higher collection of hearts and minds hold a sacred space a holy space And in this holy space is the sacred of sacreds, the holy of holies. Its light and the multifaceted of its light expression is beyond compare. It is beyond the ability to describe it. In bringing in the most luminous lights in the cosmos can yet describe the inner core of this inner light. This inner light that creates in this moment the myriad of lights that we find ourselves in. We recognize the sacredness, the holiness of this experience. And we simply breathe the sacred in-breath and out-breath, and we hold our positions. As all those radiant ones hold their positions, creating a divine and sacred platform and matrix. In coming forth as the children of light upon the earth, we are called to bring forth into our own spiritual eye, our sacred mother, our Gaia, our Terra, our mother earth. And we perceive her on many levels we perceive her as a globe of a blue sphere in a arm of the galactic mother that moves around the local logi of Helios Vesta along with her brothers and sisters in this sacred solar system. But yet, we also perceive her as the children of the earth in all of her expressions, all of her kingdoms, all of her elements. We perceive her in the oceans and seas, in the lakes and the waterfalls. We perceive her in the beauty of a flower, in the blade of grass. We perceive her in the clouds and in the blue sky. We perceive her in the black earth. We perceive her deep into her crystal core. And we embrace her love as she embraces ours and a very personal connection is now made. For in the depths of the depths of your service, you re-remember you are here for her and all of her life. And so even as we perceive her in the expansiveness of the cosmos, we are yet intimate and intertwined in her body as she is intertwined in ours. And it is in this sacred connection that we do our sacred work.
We now bring our intention back into the inner core of this sacred diamond portal. We find ourselves in the myriad of others of the divine expression of the eternal father and eternal mother. We are bounded by unconditional love and higher service. And so as we merge our intention, we now bring our sacred Mother Earth through our intention and through our spiritual eye into the center of this kaleidoscope of color that is beyond measure, that is deep within this eternal light that produces the myriad of undescribable light and beauty. And we place her there, for we know that this infusion of lights begins to clean and clear and purify, begins to bring in divine sacred codes, holy alignments, that heals, brings peace, and brings balance. In these few moments here as we hold and remind our Earth Mother of the love of so many for her, that understand the distortions, the abuse, and a disregard of her sacredness and her holiness. That the children of earth who have not forgotten, who are here to assist. And so we bring forth the healing power of the cosmic Christ divine Maitreya of the myriad of the diamond light encompassing the paradise worlds and all realms of light from its highest source, bringing it down and into this sacred moment for her to receive healing and balance, rejuvenation, a new genesis, a new octave, a new expression. And in this sacred union, this divine sacred communion, this interweaving of light. We become aware of our connection with our Earth Mother and therefore tether more deeply, more anchored our relationship with her and her relationship with us. For we are the ones closest. We are the ones that walk upon her, that feel her, and she feels us. We are the light bearers that hold the higher light, that bring it forth into her, that bring it upon her. And so we take our positions and we bring our puzzle piece to the kaleidoscope of light in the connection of all things.
And as we see the myriad of colors, the kaleidoscope of colors beyond description in a brilliance core of light that's indescribable, infuse her on all seven levels. And where there is woundedness and blockages, we now see the realignment of clarity and healing and balance and peace. And once again, the symbiotic relationship of myriad of diversity all in perfect harmony and synchronization. As she begins to move into her higher octave, we hold that path of light steady. Simply hold your position and see in your spiritual eye our sacred earth in whichever way you perceive it in your own portal of light that she is embraced with unconditional love and limitless light. And that our connection to her and her connection to us is stronger, more deeply anchored and tethered, whereby sacred communication becomes more apparent and more vivid. Make note again of this energetic that takes place. Intend to become very familiar with it. Intend to know when energies come and when they go. As your particular portal of light is your path of mastery and training. <sighs> we are grateful and we are humbled to be of this divine and sacred service. And even as the energies continue to flow in, we will make the intention now that it will continue in the hours to come perhaps even the days to come. Before we go to sleep tonight, let us bring our thoughts to this experience before we go our eyes. And now, the thought of the return does come. And even as we can stay seemingly in this perfect balance and peace forever, we know we have work to do. And so with that thought already, We begin to look at our sacred earth one more time in the middle of this sacred portal of crystalline light. 
And as all those who have been part of this with us begin to draw in their electromagnetic field, so do we. And we know and we intend to be back into our physical, mental, and emotional bodies with grace and ease. And this sacred crystalline matrix begins to dissipate and go back to its source. And on the count of three, we will intend to be back awake and alert, even as the energies continue. And with the re-remembering to bring this thought of this experience before you fall asleep. Know that the sacred earth and you have a more anchored and tethered relationship of communication. Intend to come back on the count of three. One, two, take a deep breath in. And three, we are back awake, we are alert, and we are grounded. <sighs> oh, okay. Let me, um, Let me do the participants here, okay. All righty, we are back. So um, uh, let's see here, <laughs> give me a moment, let me, okay, here we go. Um, I just wanted to mention, yeah, this uh, like, like yes, last time, uh, I think two times these were running a little bit longer uh, than usual. Uh, and um, um, what do I want to say? <laughs> uh, yeah, they are very, very, very powerful. Um, so let me tell you what I got from this. And if anybody wants to share their experience, we always have time for that. I do notice that this is like a different energetic for me personally. Um, um, like, I think this has happened once or twice is uh, th this, this consciousness that comes in is very, uh, it's new. It's new and it's like very specific. It comes in the very beginning. It's like a very instructional. Um, it talks in a certain way um, that's different for me. And I've, I've noticed it um, the past couple of times. Uh, very specific, very loving, very powerful. Now, I wanna share with all of you that I actually had an experience, maybe it was two days ago, three days ago, I'm not sure, but very clearly um, this beautiful woman, I mean, she's just beautiful. I believe she's come before, but she came very vividly in my spiritual eye and presented herself. And I do believe I've seen her before, but it's just interesting that she came up and perhaps, I don't know, it's usually a collective consciousness because how the anchoring light works is that it's who shows up, uh, gives us the experience. So it's just, just like an entity that's talking or channeling. It's not that at all. It's all of us coming together. And as I understand it, it then, you know, we combined our energies together and it goes into a higher octave. It then attracts what it attracts, that the work that we are supposed to do. So it's very much a personalized experience each and every time, depending on who shows up. Uh, but 
this experience, I believe, of this 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 sacred, beautiful uh, woman. Uh, I don't want to. I maybe you know, divine mother. She's a divine mother of some sort. But I just wanted to say that this was a different energetic the past couple of weeks. Now, the work that we did, the most important thing I want to say with this, uh, before I forget, is what we did, of course, higher service to the earth, you know, for her to, gosh, not be as um, so much um, imbalance uh, with her. We're trying to, because it's, it's crazy. So we're at the very minimum trying to stabilize some of these extreme imbalances that are going on that causes all kinds of havoc. So, you know, what we're doing here is also assisting in the seesaw not being as extreme. And it's already, it's extreme out there. And Divine Mother 10 years ago told me this was going to happen. That's why she said you cannot get engaged in the emotions. You have to come from the neutral observer, look at the whole thing, stay connected, and Divine Guidance will come in. So, but this experience, I believe that one of the things that happened, it has uh, cemented or it has anchored more deeply our connection to our earth mother and her connection to us. And the idea that I got behind this whole experience, because we're experiencing it with her, you know, we are the children of the earth, you know, holding the energy for her on the all levels, you know, as we hold in this higher light, you know, how blessed are we to do this? You know, we get some benefits doing it, is that our connection to her and her connection to us is more, um, well, solid, uh, more, more anchored, um, and that will allow a more uh, dynamic communication. So she will have the ability to speak to us as we speak to her. She will hear us more clearly. She knows us upon when we walk upon her. You know, when we're in the water, she knows us because that connection is, is very, very now uh, anchored and close. And so when that happens, there is a communication. She communicates, she has the ability to communicate as well. So she will divide, you know, divinely guide us, you know, let us know uh, what her needs are or what we need to do. So just be aware of that because that's very real. So if you are to hug a tree or look at a plant or feel to plant something or harvest something or whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, know that you have a deeper connection now or and, and will continue to do so as time goes by. Okay, so that's what I have to say. Uh, is there any, um, let's see, we have eight people here left. Is there anybody that like to share something? Uh, raise your hand and, um, or, or chat and let me know that you'd like to talk. Does anybody want to say anything? Okay, let me just take a look. All righty. And sometimes, you no, know, some people don't feel like they want to say anything because they're in the energy and that's fine too. All right. Okay. All right. I know I'm blissed out. Okay. And remember, remember to... Um, remember to, you can remember this before you go to sleep. I wanted to say something about last week real quick. So last week, you know, the, the week of um, <laughs> interference, uh, there was a whole thing about the supernova. And, uh, you know, when I came home last night, and this happens on a regular basis, it's not unique, but I just wanted to share it, is that I sat down, you know, just kind of chill out, and I just happened to click on a, uh, a program, and they were talking about the supernova. I went, oh, okay, <laughs> and about its radiation of light, which was what that whole uh, anchoring light was all about. Okay, so it doesn't look like anybody is going to say anything. Okay, so that is fine. I will ask everybody again, if you uh, remember, uh, there's some of you that do pledge monthly. I appreciate it so much, so very, very much. 
uh, for the um, Cosmic Center to continue to do this, you know, important work that we do, especially during this time, that if you can donate to the uh, Cosmic Center, simply go to the ccosl.com and you'll see the donate page there. Uh, we appreciate your financial support and energetic exchange. Okay, everybody, namaste and thank you so much. We will see you next time. Bye.